theft or stolen, you're exposed to the danger of Ford Van Television Europe. Mailbox, the program that answers your questions about the world of radio and television and AFN. Before we go any further, we want to thank those of you who wrote to us following our first program. Boy, we got a lot of mail, some of which had some intriguing questions, and we're going to try to answer some of those today. Toward the end of the program, we're going to be giving our address in case you, too, would like to write to AFN Mailbox. And many of you even... Day or night, if you need a banking transaction, the Express Teller at your military banking facility is ready. If your area doesn't have one now, it's coming soon. AFN TV, Europe. One more for the road, huh? Try one of these, it'll really set you off. All too often, this is where the party ends, with serious injury or death. Because every time someone drives under the influence of alcohol or other drugs, they're endangering the lives of innocent people, not to mention risking their own life. The truth is that many intoxicated drivers don't die in the accidents they cause, but they have to spend the rest of their lives remembering that they disabled, disfigured, or killed someone. They usually don't remember the party at all. Never forget it. May of 44, Fort Slocum, New York. Back in the formation, I hear the singing, see? Now, I can't hardly walk, and Willie Duckworth is singing. The heads are up, the chests are out, the arms are swinging, and cadence counts. Well, after a while, we pick up on what he's doing. Now, he'd sing a verse, and we'd count cadence back at him. Sound off, one, two, sound off, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Didn't know it then, but that was the very first Jody. Sure caught on. I heard one later kind of went like, Ain't no sense in going home, Jody's got your gal and gone. <laughs> that must have been when they first started calling them Jody's. Private Willie Duckworth called his little ditty the Duckworth chant. Sang in every branch of the service all over the world. Still do. Now, ain't that something? Next. Adams, we have to talk. You know, when personnel sent you for this job, I was skeptical. This is no place for lightweights. But I figured I had to give you a go at it. And what happens? Turns out you're a natural. I hope that goes for supervising, too because I'm putting you in charge of this unit. All I ever needed was a chance. Everybody deserves a chance to make it on their own, and there are things you can do to help. This is my office, the flight deck. When we're launching and recovering aircraft, things can get pretty hectic. Organized hectic, I should say, because our launch and recovery procedures are all carried out according to exacting guidelines. There's no room for guesswork in launching aircraft. We do things by the book. I don't believe in guesswork when it comes to my family's health care either. That's why I made sure they were enrolled in DEERS, the Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System. In order for their claims to be processed by Champus, the family members must be listed in DEERS first. When it comes to launching jets, I go by the book. And when it comes to my family's health care, I go by this book, the Champus Handbook. 
It'll tell you about deers and about Champus coverage. Thanks to Champus, when I'm on the job, even a thousand miles from home, I don't have to worry about my family's health care. Make sure that deer's information on your family is up to date. The state of Nevada will hold a primary election September the 2nd to determine one U.S. senator, two U.S. representatives, seats A and E on the state Supreme Court, the governor, lieutenant governor, secretary of state, the treasurer, comptroller, and attorney general. A ballot must be mailed at least 75 days prior to the election, and the registration form must be returned to the county clerk not later than 30 days before election. Nevada residents may vote for federal offices only. Party affiliation must be provided when requesting the ballot for Nevada. When Samuel Milton Jones opened his factory in East Toledo, Ohio in 1894, he didn't post a long list of rules for his workers. His factory had only one rule, the Golden Rule. And Sam Golden Rule Jones treated his workers as he would like to have been treated when he was a laborer. He established the eight-hour day, paid vacations, and a profit-sharing plan unheard of in those days. In 1897, Samuel Jones was elected mayor of Toledo and brought the Golden Rule to city government. He built parks and playgrounds, instituted free kindergartens and adult night schools, and constantly fought the blight of unemployment. This is Edward Asner with an American Portrait. Artist traveling the world says painting murals at a European hospital is adding more than just color to what are usually uninspiring walls. Jim Clancy reports. You and I would call it painting, but this artist says it's more like using color to cut windows through walls. Muralist John Fight of Atlanta traveled to Wiesbaden, West Germany this week to carry on his life's devotion, transforming hospital walls into works of art. My whole hope is to demonstrate in this hospital to the uh, military uh, what it can do you know, for their patients and their staff, the people who work here. The Air Force Regional Medical Center in Wiesbaden is the largest American hospital outside the U.S. Although it is the first time he has painted murals in a military hospital, more than 3,000 such works by fight can be found in medical centers around the world. Uh, we paint ceilings. Uh, we go around corners, we have patients painting. It becomes kind of a community affair. Enlisting the help of volunteers is part of the strategy. More than anyone else, doctors, nurses, and patients enjoy taking a sterile x-ray room like this one and adding not just color, but life to a hospital. The whole thing goes tan. Fight almost gave up painting 11 years ago because he felt he wasn't using his talent to benefit others. Then he said, it dawned on me that people were staring at blank walls in hospitals trying to see something of the outside world. Fight will take his paints and brushes to Monaco next week, and once again, on a hospital wall, he'll bring that outside world to the sick and injured. My masterpiece will be my life. It will not be my art. Jim Clancy, CNN, Wiesbaden. I'm Susan Lasovich. Around the world in 30 minutes, this is Headline News. When you travel with the Military Airlift Command, be sure you have all the right paperwork and that you're in proper military uniform. AFN Television.